Seven Day Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC Lions Den basketball community. In this case, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new one. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, as you all know, my Milwaukee Bucks just acquired Damian Lillard. Um, prior to acquiring Damian Lillard, head coach. Adrian Griffin hired Terry Stotts as assistant coach. Terry Stotts has a lot of experience in being a head coach in this league, never been successful, never did anything worth talking about. He actually was with the Bucks as an assistant coach at one point in time, but Terry Stotts was hired as an assistant coach for the Bucks. We get Dame Lillard, trade Drew Holiday, and we got this crazy squad. Right, an offensive juggernaut, okay? Uh, Dame Lillard was very comfortable. He said, hey, uh, I had Terry Stotts for the first eight, nine years of my career. Uh, this is pretty, you know, it's pretty comfortable here. All of a sudden, Coach Adrian Griffin is having a meeting. Well, I'll say it this way. I don't want to say having a meeting. Coach Adrian Griffin, uh, this happened, supposedly this happened during or around about the, the Oklahoma City Thunder preseason game. Adrian Griffin uh, in practice was telling the players, you know, he's going to talk to the players in one uh, huddle, and then he wants to talk to the coaches in a separate huddle. So when he decided to talk to the coaches, Terry Stotts decided – I don't need to listen to this guy. I'm going to walk over here and talk to Dame and Giannis by myself. All right? According to the reports, I wasn't there. I'm just going by the reports. So Terry Stotts uh, ignored the head coach's uh, <laughs> orders to, uh, you know, wait until the coaches huddle. He went over and talked to Giannis and Dame by himself. And agent, they say, Witnesses who were there said Adrian Griffin said was calling for Terry Stotts. And Terry Stotts was like ignoring him, basically. Adrian Griffin got louder and said, well, hey, what's going on? And then after that, Terry Stotts was apparently upset and said that uh, he's stepping down as uh, assistant coach for the Milwaukee Bucks. Good riddance. Good riddance. I say good riddance to you and um, never want to see you again. If you're going to pass up an opportunity to uh, be a part of something great because your ego is jealous that you're not the head coach of a championship caliber team, then just too bad. Nobody's going to hear, feel sorry for you, all right? You don't come here and try to undermine the head coach who wanted you here. You don't come here and try to undermine a head coach, especially in front of other staff and players, because you think you're more qualified to be the head coach. You just don't do that. Just don't do it. So I hope Terry Stotts never gets hired again in the NBA uh, as a coach on anybody's team. It's ridiculous. You got a paycheck. You know what I mean? You, you're going to be a part of something great. But see, this is, the, this is what I mean. Coaches don't even understand the definition of team. But they keep preaching this nonsense to the players about team and self-sacrifice and blah, blah, blah. But in reality, a lot of these coaches like Terry Stotts, they want the fame and the glory for themselves. See, it's all good when Steve Nash gets gifted a championship caliber team in the Brooklyn Nets and he does absolutely nothing with it. It's all good when Mark Jackson gets fired and Steve Kerr gets put in place and conveniently uh, gets put in place for a championship caliber team. But the moment... Adrian Griffin is put in place for a championship caliber team. He's getting sabotaged by his own staff. Already, you got members of the media running around here talking about 
uh, uh, Damon to the Bucks was not a good trade. You know, this wasn't a good move. Drew Holiday was a better fit. Really? Because when this whole time we had Drew, y'all never gave Drew Holiday props. Never. Now all of a sudden, Drew Holiday then went to the Boston Celtics, and Drew Holiday is the best thing since sliced bread. Now, all this time, y'all been praising Dame Dollars. Dame is the closer. Dame is this. Dame is that. Oh, did you get Dame down there with Jimmy Butler in Miami? Dame for the clown. Dame for the actor. Dog down there in Miami. Boy, you get Dame time in Miami? Now you got Dame with Giannis Antetokounmpo. The best one-two punch in the league should be. And you got members of the media hating. Trying to downplay Dame Dollars all of a sudden. People saying Giannis is overrated. Like, what is this? Where's this coming from? Mm-hmm. See, y'all think I'm, 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 see, I understand. Y'all going to think I'm paranoid or I'm playing the, uh, uh, you know, the spade card, if you will. That's what y'all going to think I'm doing, right? However, I see through it. I see through it. If Terry Scott's was the head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks and Adrian Griffin was the assistant, wouldn't be no problem at all. But Adrian Griffin, they finna try, they're gonna talk bad about this dude. They're gonna try to get him up out of here early. Well, I just hope the bus can continue to do well. Because we lose a few games, they're gonna try to get dude up out of here. They're gonna talk about him like a dog. You know what I'm saying? Now if we had we, we now we had this dude, Mike Budenhoser, then cost us two, three championships. Great regular season coach, but in the playoffs, choke artists. Straight choke cards in the playoffs. Mike Budenholzer. Media gave him a pass. See what I'm saying? Gave Budenholzer a pass. But now, since the bus had fired him, hired Adrian Griffin from the Toronto Raptors. Um, you know, even with, with, with the Bucks hiring Griffin from the Raptors. You know, you had, oh, uh, the, the head coach of the Raptors didn't want the job. Once he heard Adrian Griffin was a, a, a member of what was being looked at, he stepped away. He didn't want to get in Adrian Griffin's uh, way. I hope Adrian Griffin does well. I really do. And I hope these coaches, I mean, these players respect Adrian Griffin and play hard for him. I really do. Because if they don't, I'm going to be upset and I'm going to talk bad about these players. I'm going to dog them. I'm going to tell you right now. If I just had to put up with all this mess with Mike Budenholzer. If y'all come out here and don't want to play hard for Adrian Griffin and start making excuses up, I'm telling you right now, I'm calling what, what I see out. You know what I'm saying? And um, shame on Terry Stotts uh, for doing what he's doing, being selfish and not being a team player. It's my opinion. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty ODBC. Smash that like button and share this video. Hit the subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. I'm up out of here, though. Deuces.